What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. Oh my God, are there levels to this? All right, check this out. So, um, I just finished a two hour podcast with my dude TK9, sorry, K9 OMG. That's his whole YouTube name. I'll put the link in the description. He goes by K9. Appreciate the invite, dog. It was an amazing time. We literally spoke about gaming. It was me, him, and his boy Ruthless for like two hours. We didn't even realize how long it went. But you guys go check out the podcast. I'll put the link in the description, all right? But there was something for me, a few things that definitely stood out when I told them both, like, yo, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make separate videos about these things that we spoke about because they're just too good not to make videos on it. Okay. All love goes to them, all praise go to them, all all freaking not praise, I praise Jesus. All freaking what am I saying? All credit, there you go, goes to them, all right? Go check out the channel. Anyways, this was the one that I really wanted to talk about. So in the middle of the conversation, you know, we're talking back and forth, and um, me and K9 are having a discussion about exclusives, right? I, I see a huge benefit in having exclusives in gaming, and he really doesn't. He's, he's um, to him, it's more anti-consumer. There's, there's no real need for exclusives or whatever, right? Then Ruthless hops on and he says, hey, K9, let me ask you a question. He said, if there was no exclusives, would you be okay with a universal console? That's a good question. That got us both to thinking, right? The question wasn't asked to me, but I even out to him, I was like, yo, Ruth, when he's done, I'm going to go ahead and, and chime in on this one. Because it got me thinking, right? It got me thinking. His answer, though, to this, or he said, so pretty much it was like, would you be okay with a universal console, or how would you pick which console you're getting, right? And K9's answer to it was something like this. Go, go listen to the podcast yourself. But pretty much what it was is the features of the system would determine which system you would get. You would get the one that you like the controller for most. Maybe you get the one that looks better for you, right? Or here's the big one that he said, maybe you get the one that has the better service. Okay, now I know we're about games versus services. People hate that. Games versus services shouldn't even be a thing, and I'll tell you why later. But okay, so he said that. So then I went ahead and I answered the question. If there was no such thing as exclusives, right, and you had... You still had the PS5, you still had the Xbox Series X, and you still had the Nintendo Switch, right? But let's say that none of them had exclusives, so you could play Mario on freaking Xbox Series X, or you could play uh, Nathan Drake on the Nintendo Switch on the go. So, like, no exclusives at all. The system that I would get at that point, because I'm a budget gamer, would be the cheaper system that would get me the fidelity that I'm okay with, the fidelity that I'm okay with. So something like an Xbox Series S with no, uh, when there's no exclusives and has all those games might really be, might really be worth it, but I'd probably still go maybe with the X. And I do like that controller better. I just like the way the analog sticks, the sticks are, are set up on the Xbox controllers. That's That's just my preference. So I would still probably go xbox now i'm not even counting services right because what ruthless said if there was no exclusives but now let's say there's no exclusives and game pass still exists then it's xbox all day it's xbox all day right (laughs) so that got me to thinking man i i champion for exclusives saying that exclusives do matter and i understand uh the argument that i use is like i don't want to go to mcdonald's and be able to get a, a whopper I want Burger King to make sure when I walk in there that they're making the best Whopper possible because they want me to go back to that burger and they don't want me to go to McDonald's, right? That's what I said. However, I'm being honest with you. Before I got my Xbox Series X, I was all Sony. Before I got my Xbox Series X, I believed what everybody's saying that Xbox had no games. I believed that. So I still bought an Xbox Series X based off of two things. Game Pass and the power narrative. Now, I'm using quotes for power because tools aren't here yet and yada, 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 whatever, right? 
So I didn't even buy the Xbox Series X for exclusives. I believed you when you told me the Xbox Series X had no exclusives. Now that I've played Gears of War, I know that you've been lying to me. Xbox does have games. I'm going to play the Halos. I'm sure those are dope. I've never played Fable before because I believed all the other Sony generations that Xbox didn't have games. So I never played uh, Fable. Um, I've never played any of the Forzas. Uh, what else? I haven't played any of the Ori's. I haven't played Hellblade. Like So all these non-games that I'm naming right now that you guys make it seem like are trash, I'm not taking your word for it anymore because if it was up to you, you guys make it seem like Gears was a mediocre franchise and it's not if you haven't experienced gears of war you need experience it's it's amazing halo's got to be amazing as well as popular as it is so i'm excited to experience all those games as well i played one and two but that's pretty much it but anyways back to this what are we talking about exclusives right i got the xbox series x based off of game pass and the power narrative not based off of uh exclusives so if exclusives were gone, I would still make that purchase. So my question to you, Sony fans and Nintendo Switch fans, if there was no exclusives, would you still buy that system? And if the answer is no, listen to me. If the answer is no, if you would not buy a PS5 or a Nintendo Switch based on, if there was no exclusives, then the answer truly is, who does exclusives really benefit? You or the game console? Doc Dog went on five. Yo, there's levels to this. And when Roof asked that question, there's levels to that too. Sounds like Sony and Nintendo need exclusives. Now, Microsoft, we out. Peace.